Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a login page in Wix website. So before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for you to add a login page in your Wix website, we need to actually add a very specific app here on our Wix website. So in this case, let's go to our setup or homepage here and click on the sign site at the top right. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to add a membership app here. So let's just wait for this to load up. So let's just wait for it. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to access a section here. So typically when you go to my business, this allows you to view a few things like the Wix members area, which in this case, this allows you to uh, basically uh, manage your membership. So in this case, you could add a member page here, customize member profiles, create badges, and all of those stuff. But if you don't see Wix members area here, you could go and click on search at the top right here. Just type in members, and you should be able to see the Wix members area, which allows you to install this into your website. But in this case, since I already have this on my website here, let's go and choose a different website here, or one of my websites here that doesn't actually have a Wix membership here. So uh, just to give you ideas, maybe I wanna select this one. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to go to our editor here. Let's go and click on edit site. So in this case, we now have a site here that doesn't have Wix members area. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on Wix members area here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to install the uh, actual app. So it will redirect you to app market. Let's go ahead and click on add to site here. And from here, let's just uh, make sure that we allow it to be installed. But once it's actually installed here, it should automatically set up things for you. So the great thing about Wix here is whenever you're adding apps here, especially for Wix membership, it will automatically add uh, pages for you that you could basically use. So in this case, when we go to our page here, this is the default menu here. But when we go to the left side here, when we go to my business, you'll have the option for Wix members area. So if you click on it, you have the option to customize the settings page here if you want to edit your settings page. So in this case, this allows you to change a few things about the look and how it actually looks like right now with your uh, settings page for your members. Now, if you go back to my business here and go back to uh, Wix members area, you also have the manage members page here add member elements if you want to, customize member profiles, create badges if you want, and manage members as well. So for example, if you wanna manage your member pages here, you have the option to change your account settings, your profile, if you wanna edit your pro the profile of that specific uh, uh, members, the notifications that they'll be seeing here if you want to view the notification page here, add some designs if you want to. So same thing when you go back into Wix members uh, area, you have the option to of uh, ju uh, just a few things. So depending on what you want to do here, like you want to add like elements, member areas like login bar here, uh, member list, groups, online programs, file share. If you want to add those, so just give you an idea. So for example, let's go ahead and click on the manage member section. So this allows you to actually manage your members. So if you already have like members within your uh, website here, this allows you to manage them. So if you want to create account for them or import or export them into your website, so for example, if you're from a different website or a different uh, platform or using a different platform, you want to switch over to Wix here, you can actually import uh, contacts here or export contacts if you want to uh, move them around. You could also create like segments here if you want. So if you want to segment them into different ones. So if you want to create your own member, you could go and click on create new here. You could go and click on contact and you could add their name, primary email, primary phone, address, uh, labels, and assignee if you want to. So you could go and click on save and create another. So in this case, uh, yeah. So also uh, you should be able to see your account here as well if you want to. So in this case, you have your mobile apps, activity, your badges that you have right now. So you could also manage member access as well, so which in this case, you have the option to add roles with your uh, members here. So for example, if you want to set permissions to them, like me, make, make them like administrators, if you want to, you could also do this uh, in this page here which is something really cool. So you could also create badges. So give members the uh, with the same badge access to a specific site page. 
So you could also uh, manage your who choose who can sign up to your page. So in this case, you could basically change who sign ups and log ins. So in this case, you go and click on manage settings here, change a few things like who everyone can sign up or only people you manually approve can actually sign up. So if you this is a member exclusive page or a website, you could choose the only people I manually approve. You could also ask your members to confirm their email. So everyone who signs up. And you could also enable a few things like if you want to add a recaptcha here for sign up and log in. So if you want to add, like for example, if you want to prevent prevent like bots going into your website, you can enable recaptcha here either for log in or sign up. So if you want to, but in this case, any changes you want to change here, do here, make sure to save them by clicking on the save at the top right. Now in this case, uh, again, there's a few things or a bunch of things that you could do here. You could also change or when you go back to site member settings here, so as you can see, when you go to settings, by the way, when you go to settings here on your uh, dashboard, you could go to uh, the same or site member settings here that we, like we just last access. You could go to member privacy if you manage your member, if you want to manage your members privacy. So in this case, you could uh, basically set who uh, their profile profile to public. So in this case, uh, you could also, who can see public member profiles here. So you could just some privacy here and give them some privacy if you want. But yeah, another thing here that you could do is you could also, again, sign up and log in uh, uh, secured here. So again, change a few things. And if you want to read a few things like what are bots or spam, if you're not familiar with those, you could go ahead and do that here as well. But yeah, so creating a sign up or, sign up or log in for your Wix website is pretty easy. So everything is actually handed to you via the app that we just installed here on Wix. So the next thing or the next steps that you might want to do here next is just basically design your pages here, like what we access on my business here, or you could go directly to pages here and go to members area and basically access a few things like profile, account settings, notification. And you could also go to sign up and log in here if you want to change the sign up form. So in this case, you could basically choose options with shows first, either a new member sign up or an existing member lock in. You could also go to social and community policies here if you want to uh, do a few things like enable Google lock in, enable Facebook lock in if you want to allow them to use their Google account. And you also have the log in section here, which allows you to uh, basically show again a few things like uh, show which options to show first and social and community if you want to enable lock in uh, via Google or Facebook. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.